Hi everyone, it's AJ here. Sorry for the noise of my bird. But let me set up the camera a little bit better. Whoops. Not exactly balanced here. There we go. Okay, today I'm working in cold wax and I'm using Gamblin cold wax medium. And I have an assortment of RNF pigment sticks, and I just treated myself this morning to some new ones. Taped on my table is, sorry for my bird, is Arches um, cold pressed paper that's made, it's oil paper. It's made, it's made for oil paints. So I have it taped down here. Next to me over here, I have a palette and I already have a glob of cold wax on it and then I have a slot board in case I have to scrape off things from my rubber rubber paintbrush I forgot what they're called and this morning I just picked up one of these because I couldn't find mine so I'll try to explain as I go but I usually so the um RNF pigment sticks. This is green gold. This is out of the tube. They have a, a skin on them. So basically, I break the skin off, but an easy way to get it is this is my palette, is I take my palette knife, and as if I was using, um, I just slice it and get that out. It's a little too much, but that's okay. It's not my usual, this palette knife is a little bendy, but that's all right. Sometimes I will mix in the cold wax. Um, it makes it smoother. It also makes it a little bit more transparent. You can mix your RNF pigment sticks if you just have the basic colors, just like you would for oil paint. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick the colors that I'm going to work with today. And put them out on the palette. Sometimes I, take this and we'll draw with it as well. So I leave my pigment sticks in a big bucket and they film over and that's the film and we just remove that. And um, I thought I bought maybe, but I didn't. But I think this is ultramarine. I don't know why I have such a big tube of it, but I do. So we'll use it. It's a gray and cloudy day here in South Florida. So all my paintings today seem to be reflective of that because it just looks like it wants to rain. So I'm going to put this aside. Okay. So cold wax is very different from hot wax. It works more like oil painting. Um, so there's no heat involved. So normally what I do is I usually start with my darkest color and I mix some of my pigment with my hot, my cold wax, excuse me, since I work in the abstract. We're very good at smearing. And I just tape this down to my table so sometimes I tape it down to a board if it's a smaller. The more cold medium I mix in with it, the more transparent it will be. I just, I'm used to this. I've been painting with this, this rubber, whatever you want to call it for 20 years. So it's, in fact, the store didn't even have any more. And usually if I have the same color, I'll put it back on my palette or if it gets a little muddy, that's what the slot board is for. And a lot of times I'll come back the next day, sorry for the surface noise, um, and they'll still be moist on the, on the board and I will use them. So like this morning I was using this green, so sometimes I'll just pick it back up and use it. And I kind of just randomly put color where I want. 
This whole area here I haven't even touched yet. Let's see if we can get some of this. Before it gets too dark, because I I always I always move to my dark side. Um, this is natural white. And I usually will draw on with it. I am a messy painter and I don't, I don't know, people always ask me if I plan out my paintings. I do in my head, but then once it gets on the paper, it's never of what I wanted it to be. So I kind of just figure it out as I go. And I'm, I don't worry if I mess something up. And I tend to always put down like a whole base layer. And if my paint is not moving, that well on the paper. I pick up just some cold wax off my palette and I kind of use that. So I'm actually just going super light and then I usually will go in with my heavy duty thing and I pull it back. And this goes on my slot board. Find a clean spot. You can see it looks very different once I start scraping off. So similar to my the way I approach my my wax painting, I'm, I always work in reductive mode. I'm always reducing back. I'm always pulling back. But that for me is still unresolved. And I am going to see. I don't know what color this is. Raw umber. Raw umber is always a nice color. I'm just knocking off the top of it. I like to draw with these. Mark making. Sort of. Sort of mark making. I always throw in a hot pink. I gotta get my Miami in there. This was a broken one from the other day. For some reason, I like to pull down. Now, I don't have to use the cold wax medium. I can also use the RNF blending stick. This has a little bit of, I don't know what's on there. You can see now it uniforms it. If I don't like something in a certain area, I can pull it up a bit with a paper towel. I usually don't. Sometimes I'll actually leave a painting for an hour or two and then I'll go back and take my squeegee and pull it back. The only thing when it's on the table, I can't flip my painting. Well, actually I can. Because it's not painted, it's not stuck that down. I'm used to painting on a board. And the one thing I did not do, and I can see here it's lift up, is I did not push down my my tape to give a better seal. But I can always cut it out if I have to. And sometimes I match them so I can always take out something that's not working right or did it didn't appear right. And 
I don't know if anybody else can hear that. So this is um, zinc white. There's also na a natural white. And now they make it, it's titanium zinc white. This is an old stick. And if you're gonna ask me the difference, honestly, I don't remember. I don't get caught up in a lot of things like that. But white can fix a lot of wrongs. This is just cold wax I picked up because it helps to unify it all. See, it, it just softens it. Even though today I said I was only going to limit myself to two colors and keep it all simple, it hasn't happened. Everything, I think because of the weather, has just made me in this somber mood. So everything I'm working on today will be available for purchase. And I'm hoping that the cold wax allows for quicker drying because the ones that I use with just blender have still been sitting for two weeks and they're not dry. It's just starting to dry and cure. But we don't leave the air on in the art studio. Just so you know, that's a bajarian. That's the name of the bird. His name is Bud. And sometimes you get something that shouldn't be there, but we can take it out. I kind of like these. This here I like. You can't see it on the camera, but it's on the bottom here. It's um, It has a lot more energy than over here. So I'm going to see if I can get that. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe we turn it over. I don't know. I kind of like it this way. One of the other things I always keep around is I always keep around a map board because sometimes... If a painting's not working, I know that if I block it out, sometimes an area would look the way I want it to look. I have so many dark colors. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought my colors. But over here, I think we can pick up... Actually, that's this color. That's my dog. That's Miss Meadow. She's stretching. But I like how that is. So if something, sometimes if I put a little bit more pressure, so I can pull up some and get that over there so I can have. And that's one of the things I like that I see, but I like the white that was there and then I took it off. That's just something that I had on my slot board. But it works. But this here is bothering me. I thought I had yellow. All I have is Naples yellow. I don't have a bright yellow. I need to buy a basic set of the basic colors. Because then I can make any color I want. But that would be too easy, right? It's interesting because I use this ultramarine blue and you can't see any of it here because when you start mixing the colors, they start becoming something else. Mm. 
that was actually this color that was underneath. So you see how you, when you let your color, things happen? Now, if I work over it too much, I'm gonna end up with a lot of mud. So I have to really know of when to just stop. I'm just going over light because you can't see on the camera, but there's little marks. Even this leaf will leave a mark. See, when I hit that down, it leaves a mark. But I can also put a little texture if I just drag on it like that. And sometimes we need a little. But I like a lot of history of layers. And this is neutral pale. It's a pale gray. So instead of having a white, which would be too bold, I would use this instead. This yellow wasn't really yellow. I think it came off of the, I don't remember. amazing when you just like cut into it like that what happens it's pretty cool see now it just keeps of that pale gray it just has a little bit of history of it and sometimes it just looks out to have that happen or I think my paintings just, when I work with this, just all evolve. And I think that's just part of the process. But I don't like it when my tape edges don't have as much paint on them. So that, that gave it movement. I like that little thing there. You look. This was also just off my slot board of something that was there. It's just really interesting today. This is so not colors that I would normally use um, but I think it's, like I said, the, the, the cloudy blah day on, in Florida day. So I always think of lime green and hot pink on my Lily Pulitzer colors because when I was a kid, we would always be in, in Florida a lot. And my mom and I would wear matching Lily Pulitzer dresses. And now I only wear black. <laughs> Funny how that works out, right? But I'm in the land here of Lily Pulitzer. But let's put a little bit more... Florida in here. This is cadmium orange. Cadmiums are not the safest things to have on your hands all the time, but this has just enough in that little film that I took off. So I will wash my hands really well after this because cadmiums are not exactly healthy. You don't want to breathe them in, but you also don't want them on your skin. They're um, it's a heavy metal, so. 
And I don't mean it in the sense of music. Uh -huh. Pick up some stuff I had. It's a strong color. You see, it needs, it just needed something. See, now it looks all different. It just needed something. My mom would always say, don't trust a skinny chef. And then I would always answer back and I would say, don't trust a neat artist, <laughs> a neat painter, I should say. My, my desk at home that I do graphic work is fairly neat. Otherwise I can't, I can't work. It's funny how that works, right? This is a lot of the sway movement. I don't know now, I think, I think I'm starting to overwork it. So I think it's important that, and I don't mind if a little color drags over because it helps to draw the eye over. So I think, now you'll see what will happen. My hands are dirty, but when I do, when I do the tape pull back, because then it looks really different. It's really interesting once you get a border. You see, I already got it dirty, but too, when it already has a border on it, it just looks, I think that's the way it's gonna go. So different, I like that movement. So thank you for watching me paint live today. Maybe I'll do it again tomorrow. <laughs>